Throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be, of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world, explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. Once upon a time, near the banks of a large river, lived a scorpion in his burrow. Though scorpions by nature are fine with dark places, this scorpion decided his home was too dark and dingy and filled him with sadness. So he set out to find a new home. After searching the riverside for some time, the scorpion came to the conclusion there was no suitable home for him here. But perhaps there could be one on the far side of the river. Though how would he cross? Scorpions cannot swim. At that moment, as if summoned by the scorpion's thoughts, a large frog swam up to the river bank. The scorpion came up with a plan and called to the large amphibian. The frog was rightfully cautious of the arachnid. Their venomous stingers are famed throughout the animal kingdom for their lethal potency. The scorpion politely explained to the frog his current situation and implored the amphibian to ferry him to the other side of the river. The frog was certainly reluctant. And why would I go and do a thing like that? I know of your kind. You will surely sting me right away. But the scorpion assured the frog. I may be a scorpion, but I am no fool. If I were to sting you mid-crossing, we would both surely perish. You have my word, I will not sting you. Though he did not trust the scorpion, the frog could not argue with the logic presented. So the frog agreed to ferry the scorpion across the river, and the scorpion clambered up onto his back. The frog hopped into the river with his predatory passenger clinging, for the scorpion may have been a powerful hunter with few natural enemies. The water was the one thing that filled him with dread. The trip across the current was going surprisingly well at first. The frog was putting a noticeable distance between them and the previous shore, and the scorpion had held true to his word about holding his sting, and despite his great fear, he did not slide off of the frog's back. They were midway through the river when the scorpion felt his animal instincts swell up within him. It drove him mad, and his tail began to twitch. Suddenly, the frog felt a sharp pain drive into his back, followed by a flush of crippling numbness. The scorpion had given in to his instinct and stung the frog. His lethal venom, famed throughout the animal kingdom for its potency, filled the frog's bloodstream. With his dying breaths, the frog gasped, You fool! Now we shall both perish. You gave me your word you would not sting me. Forgive me, friend. I have done this not out of malice. It's just my nature. Within moments, the frog succumbed to the venom of the scorpion's sting and died. His body sank beneath the river's current, with the scorpion still aboard. The tale of the scorpion and the frog is unique among fables in that a clear moral is never expressed. Modern interpretations of this story often liken it to a dual cautionary tale. To the scorpions of the world, you may not always be in control of your inner nature but you are in control of your actions. Do not give into the base impulses without forethought. It may harm others and may cost you your life. 
and to the frogs of the world. Be careful of whom you trust, for there will always be those in life who cannot overcome their inner nature, even when it works against their better interests. <laughs>